She wants help. And that youngster. And he must have everything of the best. Hmm, it can be done. think to look at him that three years ago he'd been given up for dead. That was in the desert. His life and many others were saved by blood transfusion in the field. In those days, all over Britain, thousands of people were giving their blood for the forces. It's peacetime now, but the hospitals still need blood, almost as much as they needed during the war. They need it for the battle against disease, to help to win through operations, fight for the lives of sick babies. This war never stops. We can all help. If you are already a donor, give your blood when called upon. If not, volunteer when there is an appeal in your area. Life blood is still urgently needed to save the casualties of peace. It might be you. <laughs> O oh, woman, in our hours of ease, uncertain, coy, and hard to please, when pain and anguish wring the brow, a ministering angel thou. Yes, a ministering angel, though they call her a ward orderly. And there are other ministers just as important. The minister of food, for instance, and all her cooks and assistants. The ministers who sew, do the laundry, keep the hospital spick and spare, all of them helping those who most need help, the sick. Our hospitals need 10,000 more women to do domestic work. Fighting sickness without them is fighting with one arm tied behind our backs. If you think you would like the work, be an angel and come and help. Nurse. Nurse. Nurse, I want you. Nurse Edwards, can you go to her? Dr. Clark's waiting. I don't suppose he'll mind. Yes, our nurses are busy and overworked because there aren't enough of them. Many hospitals have closed wards because of that. Who will help? You will? Good. But you can't like that, you know. First, you must learn nursing. It isn't difficult. While you're learning, you're paid. The job is interesting and there's plenty of companionship. One day off a week and four weeks paid holiday a year. And the most satisfying job of all, healing. Ask at your local Ministry of Labour office or a hospital for details of how to become a nurse. There are 30,000 needed. Every 15 minutes, a child is taken ill with diphtheria. Every five hours, a child dies from diphtheria. Last year, 51,163 people, mostly children, were attacked. Mother, do you realize what an unprotected child will suffer if diphtheria strikes? Diphtheria germs enter the mouth and nose, and here they produce sores. From this point, a deadly poison spreads to the central nervous system, to the kidneys, and the heart. Once the disease has reached this stage, the child is sure to die. But when the child has been immunized, a powerful protective force awaits the entry of the diphtheria germs. Before they can entrench themselves and spread their fatal poison, they are attacked, weakened, and often totally destroyed. Mother. Have you forgotten to protect your child?
In olden days, the spirited young man's ambition was to run away to sea, where he could taste adventure and comradeship. Nowadays, the spirit of adventure is as strong as ever. The call of the sea has been replaced by the call of the air. The Royal Air Force must be kept up to strength to maintain the peace. Aircraft and everything to do with them grip the imagination of the young men of today. Young men who are eager to gain the scientific and engineering knowledge on which the RAF depends. If you want to learn a trade worth doing, if you like sport, an open air life, contact with flying, and you're between 17 and a half and 33, then join the Royal Air Force. A grand job with a grand future. What lies beyond the horizon? This question has always inspired the adventurous. Let's take a look. Yes, you've got to take the rough with the smooth if you go to sea. But after the storm, 